Good morning. This is our final Wake Up Charlotte to go of 2020. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, we'll be back tomorrow for it's 2021. Not the final show, but the final of this 20 version, yeah. yes of 2020 i am carolyn brock he is larry sprinkle and larry it is looking a bit dark and gray not the prettiest picture no we've had a foggy morning and that'll continue on and off uh, through the middle part of the day it's new year's eve daytime if you're out and about this evening 7 p.m it'll be in the low 50s in fact we stay in the 50s right through midnight between 11 p.m and 1 a.m as you celebrate Bringing in the new year, there may be a couple showers. We got Big Boy, the New Year's baby, ringing in the new year right there. As we take a look, warm front drifting, actually drifting to the north with that an abundant supply of moisture today. Area of low pressure dragging that frontal boundary tomorrow. That brings in some heavier rainfall and even the potential for some strong thunderstorms in a couple of spots. Big storm system back to the west. We have uh, showers this morning. These are some light rain showers on and off through the morning hours, but the bulk of the heaviest rain really is tomorrow after midnight, right through the daytime hours tomorrow. It's going to be, you know, relatively speaking, a pretty mild day, and that does even include them. That's the mountains where they can see temperatures in the mid to upper 50s even there. Check out the 70 forecast for today. Mid 50s tomorrow. Rain heavy at times. We drop to 51 for a low. The high is only about 56. Showers tomorrow. A few leftover showers early Saturday. Otherwise, Saturday afternoon should be very nice and mild in the mid 60s. We'll be in the uh, mid to upper 50s game day on Sunday, and then we stay in the, at least the mid to upper 50s right through the middle of next week. So we bring in the new year with some mild temperatures, and that's your first one forecast. Karen. Larry, thanks so much. Let's get to the top stories of the day. Local leaders urging you to bring in the new year at home. Happy New Year's Eve. Good morning. I'm Billie Jean Sean, Uptown Charlotte. Health officials in both North and South Carolina are urging you to celebrate New Year's at home. They say that if you plan on going out for a drink, keep in mind there are restrictions. In North Carolina, restaurants and bars have to stop selling alcohol by 9 p.m. In South Carolina, the cutoff time is 11 p.m. Union County schools will be completely online for the first week after winter break. The school board making the decision in an emergency meeting, citing rising COVID-19 cases. Teachers will have a remote workday on Monday and then students will learn remotely for the rest of the week. The district plans to reopen schools on January 11th. North Carolina updating its priorities for the next round of COVID-19 vaccinations. Officials say the next doses will go to people 75 and older first. Next in line are healthcare and frontline workers who are 50 and older. That includes people like teachers, grocery store employees, and first responders. Now, after that, doses will become available to all frontline workers and any remaining healthcare workers who aren't yet vaccinated. The Senate is back in session on the last day of the year. Priority number one, passing that key military spending bill now that efforts to raise stimulus checks from $600 to $2,000 appear to be dead. Republicans say that the bill would cost way too much and too much money would go to people who don't need it. Chris, thank you for that update. Let's talk about ringing in 2021 now. No ball to drop on New Year's Eve. No problem. As you know, here in Charlotte, we lift the crown for the Queen City. But there are tons of towns that celebrate in really unique ways. They drop different things. So let's take a look across the Carolinas. First, starting in Eastover near Fayetteville, they drop a giant wooden flea. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Town leaders say that this is part of their history because the town used to be known as Flea Hill. And thanks to a flea infestation way back in the day as well. Now to Mount Olive, where they drop none else but a pickle. Nope, not an olive. It's in honor of the Mount Olive Pickle Company, which was started in 1920s, in the 1920s. Beaufort, near the coast, uh, drops a pirate, not from the top of a building, but from a plank instead. Captain Shack, as they call it, the mannequin, takes all of the problems from the past year with him to the depths of Taylor Creek, according to the town's Facebook page. And Berga, they drop a giant blueberry in honor of the town's blueberry festival. Now to South Carolina. They've got some quirky drops of their own. The town of Folly Beach near Charleston drops a giant glittery pair of flip-flops. That one seems fitting and cute. And then in Hilton Head, it's a massive golf ball that's lowered from the Harbor Town Lighthouse in honor of the town's famous golf courses. So to me, South Carolina seems a lot more normal with their New Year's Eve traditions than North Carolina. I mean, the wooden flea 
Text us 704-329-3600 or leave a comment what you're planning to do, how you're going to ring in 2021 safely. Carolyn. I love all the traditions, Rachel. Thanks. Now to some stories to keep you and your family safe and sound today with the holiday season wrapping up. It might be time to pick up a new hobby. Experts say the post holiday blues might be tougher this year than ever with so many people uh, unable to visit their family. But keeping your brain busy can actually help. Experts say it keeps you from thinking about what you didn't get to do. So we want to know, have you tried something new? Are you planning to try anything new? Let us know. Use the hashtag WakeUpCLT. Now, uh, exercising is a thing, a resolution for the new year. We know that. But if it has you tired, go ahead and nap. In fact, even if you haven't exercised, just nap anyway. Researchers say taking a mid-afternoon nap does have some serious health benefits. It can ease stress, make you more alert when you wake up, and even improve your job performance. Scientists say a 30-minute nap around 2 p.m. is ideal. 30 minutes, though? I can't, 30 minutes, I'm just getting started. I'm a marathon napper, but it's so I'm awake with all of you at 4.30 in the morning. And we wanna make sure that you watch us each and every morning on Wake Up Charlotte. And tomorrow, it'll be our first show of 2021. Hope to see you there.